What's good, YouTube? This is Travel with Dre back with another one. In this video, I'm going to give you guys my final recap of Guadalajara. I'm also going to give you guys upcoming events and much, much more for the channel. But before we get into it, if you are someone that loves travel content, if you like new scenes, new cities, places that you can't just go on YouTube and find very often, this is the place for you. So go ahead and turn on your notification bell. That way you'll be notified for whenever I upload a video. So I'm going to break this video down into two sections. Information, my dating experience, and anything else that comes to my mind this will be more of a relaxed type of video basically just talking to you guys and giving you guys my experience in Guadalajara so two sections information so information is very easy and simple to enter Guadalajara all you need is a passport and you also have to fill out this migration form once you fill out this migration form you are very easy and you're on your way to experience a great time in Guadalajara now this migration form only just lets them know how long you will be there and why you're coming that's it you know what I'm saying I basically told them travel and I was on an eight-day trip and they they absolutely let me in I can tell you guys the process for me was easy and simple shout out to my guy Gonzalo he picked me up I actually built a strong relationship with him, met him on italki because I also teach English on italki. And ever since then, man, he's just been an amazing friend, took me around. I got my money to exchange at the exchange house for a very good rate. Now, I actually spent six hundred dollars well, less than six hundred dollars on my eight day trip. And um, I can tell you guys, for $600, I was able to get 10,000 Mexican pesos. The dollars isn't as strong as it should. But it's still strong considering how cheap Guadalajara is. So keep that in mind, guys. That is one of the things that I enjoy doing when I'm traveling. I want to be able to see my dollars last for a very long time. You know, I want to be able to be comfortable. So I can tell you guys, Guadalajara is a great spot for that. Now, as far as getting around, as I said before, my amigo and I also use Uber. Everybody that's from there highly recommended me not to use taxi only time you can use a taxi is if you staying at a hotel and they have connections with that taxi person or something like that but other than that use uber is cheap is safe and is very reliable also i use uber eats so late at night if i didn't feel like walking i absolutely just use uber eats they brought me something to eat very cheap and it was very fast and reliable i also love that as well special shout out to ray harper Globe Takeover TV, Travel Milano, those three guys also have information on Guadalajara. They were very helpful for me and made my trip a lot easier as well. Also, guys, I stayed near Chapultepec. For those that don't know, Chapultepec is a place that have bars and restaurants on both sides of the streets. And you absolutely would love it. And they also have a pharmacy as well. And all of this is in walking distance from the hotel that I absolutely stayed at. I can tell you guys that the hotel that I stayed at also had a restaurant as well. And uh, you guys would definitely love that. But as far as the pharmacy, the pharmacy is open 24-7. So if you ever get sick, you ever need to go in there and get something, you can go and get it. That's one of the things I love about Mexico is that you can absolutely go and get whatever you want when you want it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever food, whatever medicine you need, you can go and get it. That's not the, the case, you know, in, 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 in the United States. You know, if you're sick or if you need something, you have to go and get it prescribed. You have to go through all these loops to absolutely get it. But in Guadalajara, if you need something, all you do is go and tell them what you need. Go pay for it, and they will give it to you. The food is absolutely amazing, guys. I absolutely love the tacos, different, waiting, different ways of eating tacos. I can tell you guys that there's a lot of spice with the way that Mexicans eat. So it's a lot of spice um, as far as the foods go. But it was something that I had to adapt to, you know, as far as Guadalajara. I also... So I was able to visit the Zone Central area. I visited the biggest church in Guadalajara. If you guys go to Guadalajara, I highly recommend you guys to visit this area. There's a lot of people out there that's walking around this time of the day, during the day. I can tell you guys, it, the weather is hot, but it's not hot, hot like it is from where I'm from. I'm from Mississippi, and when it's hot, it's hot. Hot to the point where you don't want to go and walk outside. But in Guadalajara, that type of hot, you still, is, is, is okay if you go and walk outside. And that's one of the things that I've learned as far as the climate go. I also can tell you guys, learning the Spanish is very, very key. That Spanish language barrier is key. So download the Duolingo app and learn it. I can tell you guys right now, 
now my level is basic, but I was able to move around and, and enjoy a lot of conversations with just that. And it gives you motivation. It's two things it gives you motivation of learning more. And it also gives you the feeling that you give other people when you're trying to speak their language they're more friendly and they're more willing to help you and you guys will absolutely love it just moving around in guadalajara made me feel like the older days and older time living in the older times you know how when your parents they tell you well when i was coming up things was this price so i was able to do this i was able to do that because living was so much cheaper and i think i got that feeling of being able to see what they were saying being in guadalajara because it felt like i was the king it felt like i I was the man. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean anything to me. It just gives me that extra feeling that I can do more out here. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things I absolutely love. And it, there's a false perception of how dangerous it is in Mexico. Now, don't get it twisted. Mexico is dangerous. Anywhere you go in Mexico can get dangerous because they really do live that life. But I can tell you guys, like any city you go to, just got to be able to be mindful of what you do and how you do it and where you go. And be respectful. You know what I'm saying? I may have ran across some cartels or I may have ran across some of those dangerous guys. But because I carry myself a certain way, always speaking, always smiling. You know, it's very rare that I would run into those issues. A lot of times those people that run into those issues are those that are actively out there looking for it. You know what I'm saying? I was able to see some amazing cars. If you guys saw the slide of the Mustang, you would find some very nice cars. I was able to see some Camaros, you know. So there are some nice vehicles out there as well. People are actually living good out there in Guadalajara as well. So there's a also another false perception that people like to say is, is poor. And that's not the case. You know, you see some people with nice jobs out there. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. Now, as far as the dating scene, I've noticed as far as the dating scene, you know, a lot of places, a lot of guys, you know, feel like they need Tinder or they need online things, to, you know, to go and date. But I can tell you guys right now, you don't need Tinder. You don't need Bumble. You don't need anything. What you need is to get your passport and get out there, man, and live near Chapultepec. I can tell you guys it's a college town and all you need to do is just go outside and walk and talk to people now. For those that don't know any Spanish or don't want to know Spanish, it's going to limit you to be able to do things out there as far as the dating scene go. But if you go out there and you know a little Spanish and you try to speak it and you, you know carry yourself with confidence, you can actually run into a lot of amazing women. Luckily, I was able to meet, you know, some friends. I was able to meet one particular woman that I absolutely enjoyed, man. She stayed with me for a full weekend. We had so much fun. We visited a lot of different places, a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, and we actually working on a second trip together, man. So I can tell you guys right now, it's very possible to meet women in Guadalajara, especially the Chapultepec area. It's a college town. I stayed near Universidad de Guadalajara, you know what I'm saying, the university, and um, you definitely will be able to see a lot of girls just, just hanging around, looking to have fun, you know what I'm saying, and as far as the bars, the bars is open between 9 to like 6 a.m., clubs is open between 9 to 6 a.m., I can tell you guys some clubs are dress coded, so make sure you come wearing pants, I actually went to a club, Raga Club, and I wasn't able to get in because of dress code. They don't like the hats. They don't like the shorts. They want you to have pants and they want you to have some casual shoes. So if you are somebody that's going out that way and you want to know more information on that, definitely reach out to me on my Instagram, MAG underscore DOG6. And I definitely will help you as far as that go. But overall, man, it was an amazing trip. I'm still thinking about what I want to do when I go back. Because, again, it's the second biggest city in Mexico. It's Guadalajara. And so I wasn't able to do everything. But I had an amazing time, man. I had an amazing time. And I'd like to give a special shout out to the Flyboy Way as well. The Flyboy Way was very helpful as far as getting me started. You know what I'm saying? Because now I can see what people were saying when they were saying things like man having that passport means a lot you know what i'm saying so um i actually teared up as i was actually in the air the moment i got in the air i teared up man and i said to myself i would love to come back to guadalajara and i also considered 
move in the Guadalajara. You know what I'm saying? Because of just so many opportunities to save money and so much to do out there, man. But if you guys like the video, definitely like and subscribe to the channel. I'm also considering going back to Guadalajara and also what to do whenever I go back. But if you want to know more about that or when I go back, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. But until next time, make sure you guys hit the like subscribe button. Special shout out to everyone that played a role into my travels. Until next time, peace.